Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Divinity Original Sin 2 playthrough. Uh, this is Jpico Death. We're trying to figure out uh, uh, what to do to level up our characters before we get to our next big battle. We've almost got all of them. Beast is the only one who didn't actually get to level up. But I wanted to look at something here. We're talking about source points. In the last episode, we got all of our collars off. And uh, that means everybody has uh, access to the source, theoretically. But the only one that actually has any source points is uh, Fane, who used the uh, purging wand to kill one of the Shriekers. Um, nobody else has any. So what we're going to try and do is that we know of another Shrieker. This one over here guarding this castle. The very first one we ever encountered. And we are going to purge it and see if we can't get JPEG a source point. So... Looks like... We don't have a whole lot of... Opportunities here. Let's see how close. Can we see it from here? Oops. That one. There we go. Um, if we use this, we get. Hopefully, we're going to kill it. We'll get a source point from it. And then um, we only have one charge left on this wand. So that is not exactly ideal. But we got a source point, yep, it's true. So it's another shrieker down. I don't know where this one went. There it is. But it's empty. A little woman down here. There he is. See if she's. Uh... I nearly took you for a magister and put a blade through you. That was close. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You don't have to stay here anymore. We're gonna go attack the castle now, or attack the uh, the things. Well, that worked. JP got a source point. So that's something. Now, we have a new skill that we can use, and we just need to assign it somewhere. Okay, we don't need this one. Get rid of that. So we can bless a surface, and that'll give, give it a healing surface, and it will... I don't remember what bless does, but it's, it's a number of things. We'll be able to use it in combat and everywhere else, so that's that's good news. Oh, um, below our pictures, there are little, I don't know what that little shape is, but below JPEG and Fane, who now have a source point, there is a, a dot, and the other two are hollow spots. I'm wondering if we're going to be able to find more purging wands, and I don't even know what a sorcery point actually does, is the truth. Source points for powerful skills. I don't know what that means. But we've got it. So um, I'm going to cut the recording here. We're going to jump to the next section and um, go from there. See you in a minute. Okay, so um, officially I take it back. I was getting ready to leave the area and I realized that there is a metal door here that we have never used. This is directly underneath uh, where we got in the big fight with the, the Magisters, met Gareth and all that stuff. I just killed the Shrieker over here to get my source point, but we never went through the door. We are in a dungeon. Okay. In the flickering torchlight, you see a magister lying muttering on the ground. 
As you approach, he turns with a jerk. Okay. No, stay back. Not another step closer if you want to live. All right, let's see what he has to say. Fight. I'm not afraid of you. <coughs> you should be afraid of me. The Magister nods towards his hand, and you see the skin is midnight black. It seems to undulate, as if worms were squirming through his flesh. He grimaces and tucks it underneath his arm, squeezing it tight. Okay. He nods towards the bodies of the dead Magisters, twisted in the thorned blood. What did happen? Same as those poor souls. We finished clearing out this blasted room and wanted... Wanted to move on to the next. As soon as they touched that switch, they... They were screaming. Some void curse. Dallas warned us to take care, but I... We never thought... Never knew we... Survive? <laughs> I'm as dead as them. Just... Taking my time getting there. They were gathered round it. Took the brunt of it. Got me on the arm, though. Clipped me. It was enough. Whatever it is, the void mm. itself is fighting to protect it. Dalos told us to be careful, but, but this is wrong. It's evil. Death. She told us it was old. Told us it was dangerous. Told us it was important. I hope there's another wand down here. More weapons to fight the sorcerers, she said. She needed the wands, but... Yeah, come on. But there was something more. We got greedy. He looks Anything up at do? you, his eyes staring deep into Mercy. yours. I saw how they died. I heard them screaming. I, I don't want to go like that. I don't want to face that. Please... I can't lift my sword. I can't. I can't do it myself. I'm not touching him, that's for sure. Rest my hand on his shoulder. No. No, I don't think so. Um, I don't think I'm done talking to him. Not going to kill him. Yes, I will. He lowers his eyes to stare at his black, squirming hand. <laughs> Just make it quick. If I knew for sure that I had more um, charges in my wand, I would totally use Radika's wand on this guy. Steal another source point for one of my other guys here, but... It's, I've only got one right now. I'm going to save it in case I need it on something important. So let's start with Ifan. No. Oh. That's not going to work. I'm still equipped with that damn wand. Can't backstab him with that. Nose cutter, that was the other dagger I have. Thirty-five health. Um I have to get through a sixty or a hundred and twenty-two. Yeah. <coughs> Take off your armor for me. <coughs> oh, I don't want to attack anymore. I want to loot him. Gold and fire essence. By the way, when he had the system off, or rather between episodes, we were uh, we also leveled ourselves up. Got a few new skills out of the prospect. Um, I should have spent a little more time in the menus, though. 
because there is definitely more to be done. What's going on here? Don't touch the lever. Not yet, anyway. Decaying blocked by physical armor, so it's trying to, uh... It's trying to get us. Yvonne, what is our... Halt! Who goes there? Marina the Brave. Quite so. I am Marina the Brave. Marina. You are daring indeed to enter my domain. Uh, let's play along. As well you should. I'm an assassin of ants and crucifier of crickets. <laughs> All rodents bow before me. <laughs> so do lesser beasts, like humans, for instance. My title is bestowed upon me by the King of All Rats in honor of my renowned achievements. Very nice. The rat launches into a lengthy description of rat royalty. Oddly, it sounds like a mixture of stories from dwarven, human, and elven cultures. And Kelp Junatrim just laughed and laughed. Oh, what a wonderful weekend that was. To your surprise, the rat listens intently as you recount your time in Fort Joy and your escape into the hollow marshes. Oh, my friend, you are an adventure after my own heart. I have heard many stories in my day, but none as exciting as this. May I ask you a favor, perhaps? A true warrior never tips her hand. This was the advice I was given by the King of All Rats himself. I cannot uh, divulge until you agree. All right. I want to know more. More! Return to me when you have a chance and share your adventures. I want to hear about every spell cast and cliffside scaled, every chest pillaged and every sword swung. But if you are to return, I need to make sure you remain in one piece. So let me share another morsel of information I've picked up on my travels. See, talking to animals is a good thing. The levers in here are cursed. Best not to touch them unless you bless them somehow, lest they infect you with their torment. Bless them somehow. I happen to be God blessed. Now hurry back. I can't wait to hear if your ventures can hold a candle to the other. I mean, to my own. A source fountain. What if drink? Uh, what if using this will give us uh, a source point? This puddle thing grows. What could this mean? Yes. Beast got his. Nice. Okay, so we all have... Now we're all source infused. We have one source point. So this... If, if, we, if we use them? Maybe this is where we come to to... Um, to re-up? I don't know if that's something that we uh, will actually, like... You know, burn up for a spell. Half a sword and an old dagger. It's worth money, if nothing else. I'll take it for that alone. Crate. 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 Okay, so she says, don't touch it unless you can bless it. Ah. Just so happens, I can. Not even the reputation of Brackus Rex. We should tread gingerly. Yeah, yeah.
Nice. Okay. I agree. Tread carefully. <laughs> just a little quick save, just in case. I don't know if the last time I saved was there's beast level. The armory of Brachus Rex. What is this contraption? A shrine of Brachus Rex. Okay. Before you stands an ancient shrine. Runes carved deep into its rock. Yeah, let's look at it before we touch it. The runes are in no language you understand or recognize. Oh, boy. The shrine seems completely inert. Fine. Touch it. Your fingertips tingle as you reach out to the shrine. You feel power stir in your chest, but you feel lacking, like a cup waiting to be filled. Towering statue. His most esteemed majesty, Thracus Rex. His most gracious highness, Bracus Rex. Sure thought a lot of himself, didn't he? Like a cup waiting to be filled. So, hmm. I'm calling it a monolith. Before you stands an ancient shrine. Let him Before you stands an ancient shrine. You feel the source inside you swell up, filling your chest, yearning to be free. I'm calling the source to my fingertips. Okay. Your power flows from your chest and into your hands. Green tendrils of power slithering from your fingertips across the shrine. The shrine starts to vibrate and glow. Slabs of stone gliding across each other as it begins to open. Okay. Ooh. And he burned his sword point. Oh. JPEG didn't have a source point. My thing is empty. Did my bless burn it? Is that what happens? The helmet. There's the helmet. But by wearing it, we get the purge skill. So, what that appears to be is that yes, in fact, that using that blessed skill, aha, so there's going to be specific skills that are going to burn up that source point, so potentially maybe later on we can get bigger um, bigger pools maybe we'll be able to have a couple three at a time I don't know well for the time being I think we're gonna uh, have this shiny thing in the background and it's I mean it's very cool looking to begin with but we're going to uh, leave our episode here um, everybody has their collars off we all have source points. We now have a new artifact of the tyrant and beast leveled up. So we need to get his uh, skills gone through and uh, make sure everybody's ready for this fight that we're walking into. See you all in the next episode. Bye bye. All right, everybody. Um, I was trying to track down a few tidbits of information about some of my active quests. Um, the artifacts of the tyrant, I'm only missing one piece, which apparently I was not uh, yet skilled enough to find. Um, but here in this ancient, ancient passage, we're supposed to check this shrine out. You notice a deep fissure beneath the statue's right hand. A chunk of stone falls from the statue. 
there's something hidden inside. So we found something inside, and it is the Tyrant's Stride, which are the pants to complete the set. Now, if somebody were so inclined, I bet they could wear the entire set together. I wonder how good they are. beast. Strength. Uh, been cursed. Uh, it's been cursed. Uh, it's been cursed. Uh. No belt. Uh, it's been cursed. Strike. Ah, the armor set is complete. Armor, armor set is complete. Not very good armor, all in all. I don't think. 30 and 4 compared to... Uh, which one was I wearing? Wait, this one. There's not a bad looking set. Bonuses to two handed weapons, which I don't use. Still the belt, best belt? Yeah, still the best belt. 15 and 2. I mean, I guess it's it's not bad. Twenty and three bonus to con. Better than what I was wearing, other than these um, tin stockings that I just found. That I, if I'm going to wear them, I won't be able to wear the set. Let's wear that around for a little bit. I wonder if wearing his stuff. Still get cursed with the ring. I don't know. Anyway, I'm out of this place. I'm gonna see if I can't go find Miss Gratiana.